catch me on your screen, all your likes get taken. He don't care about the distribution and the circulation. What's up with the scope and the articulation? He can't be himself. People trying to slander his suit. He's always trying to give a solid review. Promote the Marvel Legends, dog. Who's popping with you? Check yourself before you wreck yourself. I said, so check yourself. Oh. Hey, what's up you guys? Century Productions here. Uh, sorry for, sorry about that. Uh, and today we're going to be reviewing the Marvel Legends uh, Ultron Build-A-Figure Wave Ant-Man series Bulldozer figure. Woo! Finally we got a bulldozer action figure to complete our wrecking crew. And God, what a great figure. Uh, uh, this thing was slated to be released actually like a year or two ago. Um, but it was just recently released with the uh, Ant-Man series that had the Ultron Build-A-Figure in it. Super happy. Couldn't be happier with this figure. It's really awesome. So before I even do any size comparisons or or uh, any of that stuff, articulation or anything like that, let's just let's just see what this team looks like together. If you guys have already gotten yours, and uh, obviously you know what it looks like together, but uh, I'm just really excited to get mine uh, all uh, all together finally. Uh, so here we go. We got the Wrecking Crew, and uh, wow, they look really great together. And we finally got them all get a better look of all of them uh, I think the bulldozer I want to say is the most detailed of all of them minus maybe the wrecker here the wrecker's got a lot of details going throughout the the suit and everything but uh, the bulldozer does have a, a couple of accessories not necessarily accessories but just things that have been built on top of the figure and I, I think overall of all four of them I have to say that the bulldozer is probably my favorite one. So let, let's forget about these other jokers right here. And let's get into this bulldozer review because that's what you guys came for. All right. Uh, so before we start talking about the actual figure, let's get a uh, size comparison. So here we got uh, my boy Sentry right here. Uh, here we got myself. I've got myself right next to him. So you can see how he stacks up next to the bulldozer. And then, of course, I've got Bucky Cat too. Let's put Bucky right here. So you can see how giant this bulldozer really is. If you guys have any of the other Wrecking Crew, you already know what the size is like. So just if you guys didn't, there's a good idea. So here we got the bulldozer. This thing is awesome. So like I said, there's lots of details on it, especially in this like metal cage he's got around him right here and on the helmet and on his uh, buckles and all that good stuff. If you take a close look at the helmet, oops, take a close look at the helmet here. We can see we got all these scratch marks and indents and uh, very battle worn. We got, it looks like a couple bullet holes that have been uh, found their way in. It's very nicely detailed. I really do like this. And this actually doesn't hinder the articulation too much either. It's really nice. Uh, the head has got a, a huge range of motion. It allows you to look all the way down because they cut this little portion right here so you can have him kind of in like a juggernaut pose if you wanted to you can look all the way up you can kind of manipulate this thing too to maneuver it around to kind of facilitate where you want the head to look which is really nice I really love how they painted in these eyes very menacing maniacal it's kind of scary actually and uh, I love how they uh, sculpted in the mouth there they just did a really killer job on this thing now if I had one complaint at all it, it, which I barely do. It'd be this orange. Maybe if they had thrown in some shadowing or something on this orange. Looks like it's just a standard orange. Uh, there's not any black going in the, the muscle definition or anything like that. It's just like a straight up orange, which is not that bad. Uh, still looks really great with the figure, and it looks really good with this silver right here. So overall, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, but if they had added a little bit more, would I think it would have came out uh, pretty nice. But a lot of the other Wrecking Crew aren't even like that. Uh, so yeah, you can see all the details in that. And of course, you can see the, the muscle definition on the figure itself. We go into these bracelets, which are also battle-worn battle right here, as you can see. Uh, and look, there's no piece of articulation at the wrist. It's actually right above where the cuff is. And I believe a majority of the Wrecking Crew figures are like that because they have the gloves on. So there's not any actual wrist articulation. It's just straight from the the top of the glove or the top of the cuff or the top of, in this case, uh, bracelet or, or what are they called, gauntlet, I guess. Uh, we go down into this thing right here. Like I said, battle worn once again. This actually moves up and down, which kind of helps when you're trying to turn it. It's made of a soft plastic, too. When you're trying to uh, turn them at the waist, which is really nice. I really do like that. And most of these things can be removed. From what I understand, you can pick up, you can take off the bulldozer's head here, and you can actually remove this if you, you know, tilted his arms back and all that stuff. So you can do that if you like, if you want to use this for a custom or whatever. 
Uh, but we go down in here into the, the feet. We got some brown shoes, really nice. And then, of course, we've got, uh, what do they call the gauntlets on the feet? You got the foot gauntlets. We got some foot gauntlets down here, which are also battle worn. So he's been putting this suit to uh, some, you know, some. He's putting putting it to work for sure. That's for, that's definite. Um, so let's talk about the articulation. Like I said, we saw the range of motion for the head. Very nice range of motion. Very surprising too, which is really cool. We go into the biceps. Those go up and down, front and back. We've got 360 degree rotation at the bicep swivel. Nothing you ain't seen before. Very cool. Like I said, this is all soft rubber up here, so not, it doesn't really hinder any of the articulation, which is really nice. I like that. We talked about the wrist articulation, how that's cut. Uh, we got an abdomen joint right here, which actually goes really far front, really far back. Very nice. Wish they had continued the detailing up there, but I already knew what to expect out of this figure because I have all the other Wrecking Crew members, so no big deal. We go down into the legs. The legs go front and back. Kind of a little hindered just because of how they're set up. You can see that it's not like an actual ball joint down there. It's kind of a cut to make it look more realistic. So you got that piece of articulation right there, and it goes back and forth, but you can kind of hear uh, you get a little bit of resistance when you move that forward. But that doesn't stop it from getting it in any positions that you would want to get it in. You just got to mess around with it a little bit. Go down to the knees, and those go front and back. Uh, double uh, articulated right there, and you can even see some more uh, uh, detailing on the legs here, which is very nice. I do like that. Uh, very nice. It's kind of like the Wrecker's uh, top portion of his body right there. So, very nice. I like this. I think a, a good amount of these figures. Let's see. It looks like most of them got it. So, very cool. Uh, we go down to the feet. We got a pivot. It's not too big of a pivot, but definitely allows you to get in some uh, uh, some hard to reach spots. That goes front and back. And there's not a piece of articulation halfway through the foreleg right there. So, fortunately that that's not going to work out for you. You would think there's a piece of articulation at the top of the cuff, but there isn't. Then we go to the bottom of the feet. We got peg holes uh, and very nicely detailed right there. It doesn't look like we even have a peg hole in the back, but overall, this is a really sick figure. Make sure to get your hands on it while you can because this is definitely going to be one of those figures that's going to be hard to get in the future, especially with it finishing up a team like the Wrecking Crew. Uh, I know some of the other figures are already super expensive, but yeah, this is Century Productions. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Make sure to check out the Marvel Legends community Facebook, all that good jazz. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later, all right? Peace.